We sure are gonna link with Crow. There are so many team members in this game. So many, oh my God, why are there so many people in here? Casper, who the heck are you? I guess all the second years are thinking about what they want to do after they graduate. What will I be doing this time next year? I don't know. I feel like I'm the only person in the club without a clear cut goal that they're out to achieve. What will I be doing this time next year? I ended up going back home during the summer break. It was great to see my mom and little siblings. They're all happy and healthy too. If I wanna make life for them as easy as possible, it's about time I decide what I want to do with mine. The swimming club seems to have found its groove. Oh, my cat left me, lame. I think it's time I do the same. If I can decide what I want to do with my life, it'll be, it'll make things easier for my family. You don't have a name, thus I don't care. Did you say Crow is a fool? Excuse you? I have no idea what Toa and Angelica see in him. I really don't. Fighting words. You don't have a name. I don't care. Hi. It's hard to believe there was a terrorist attack in Heimdall. I won't forget the name Imperial Liberation Front anytime soon, not while my son is over there. Right, right, we did meet your son in Heimdall. I forgot about that. He works in um, Bifrost. Bunch of trouble making low lives. I hope they're arrested soon. Yes, I will do my best to help ensure that the Power Ranger is arrested. Shop, bye. I need this. All right, finally, only a few people left to speak to. I heard that Crow got switched to class seven. It makes you wonder. Wait, don't tell me he did it for love. Ah, which of the boys could he be gunning for? So many possibilities. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with that. Crow must have changed classes to be closer to his beloved first years. My heart, I can't take it. Who are you going to ship him with? I need to know. We're having our match with the upper class club tomorrow. This time our club is on the line. We can't afford to lose. It's one more match, Machias. We're winning tomorrow no matter what. It's possible that my father might have had a hand in Milliam joining our class, given that he's on the board of directors. I doubt he knows much more about the intelligence division's plans than we do, though. I think it's likely he helped facilitate her transfer to the academy, at the very least. They seem like they know each other, too. Hmm. His close friendship with the Chancellor may have deeper implications than I thought. Be that as it may, the class, the chess clubs, not class clubs, I can read. Upcoming match is my primary focus right now. Stefan has become a far better player than when I first met him. I don't want his dedication and effort to go to waste, so I'm planning on going all out tomorrow. You do that. Kenneth, you are here. Oh, you're a black angler now. Sure am. I'm impressed that you earned the same title as me in such a short time. Should have expected that from a fishing pro like you though. I'm going to need to fish even harder so you don't overtake me. I can't say it's a bad feeling to be so highly regarded. It took me a while to get the hang of it, but now I feel like I've gotten really hooked on fishing. Even to the point where you're making fish puns, apparently. You know, you know it's taken hold when you start with the fishing puns. <laughs> you need to enjoy these things. Green the ocean tamer, dear God. And now that you're a black angler, I can trade you some even nicer stuff. 
Keep up the pace, Reen. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thanks. I won't let you down. Trade points. Lake Lord Star. Guinea. Flood. Ooh. Hydro Cannon, Crystal Flood, and Aethelis. Aethelis? I don't know. We're just going to say Aethelis. And a Salmon Badge? I don't think I have that either. No, I don't. Well, for sure, give me Flood. And then I have the points to buy a Salmon Badge, so I'm going to do that too. We've got a lot of points. I'm not going to click it. Okay. HP plus 800, EP plus 80, and ATS plus 10 is kind of insanity. Do you have anything else to say? I'm technically a noble, but nobody's ever asked me to go home for the summer. That's so unfortunate. Your brother is crazy, though. So you're, you're probably better off not going home. Not that there'd be any point, anyway. My dad's always off on his fishing trips, and my brother's still over in Crossbell, so I might as well stay here. Well, he should be leaving Crossbell shortly. Hmm, I stumbled across a note entitled The Seven Mysteries of Thor's Military Academy while I was cleaning. It makes you wonder, who could have left it here? It has a rather ominous air about it, does it not? Even stranger, its contents differ from the seven mysteries I'm familiar with. How intriguing. Okay. All right, finally time. Well, Toa said she wanted me to come to the student council room. The door's open. Come on in. Sorry if I disturbed you. Oh, Reen. Not at all. Sorry for making you come all the way out here. Don't worry about it. It's class business anyway. That's quite the spread you've got on your desk there. Is it just me, or does your workload only ever seem to increase? <laughs> uh, well, I've got a little extra going on right now that's keeping me a little busier than normal. Anyway, this is Milliam's notebook. Crow's already got one, along with the added pages on the Arcus units you all have. So she's the last one who needs it. All right. I'll be sure to pass this on to Million next time I see her. Actually, if you don't mind my asking, how much do you know about why she's here at the Academy? Hmm. All I know is that she came with a recommendation from the Army's Intelligence Division, really. You know those combat shells you fight in your practical exams? They're being used with the Emperor's authorization. Apparently, it's something similar for Milliam. We can't deny her admission if the Emperor is pushing it through. This goes all the way up to His Majesty? Well, His Majesty did make Goliath the Chancellor, so I buy it. Seems like it. The Chancellor was the one who set up both the Intelligence Division and the Railway Military Police. But neither of those organizations could have been established without His Majesty's consent. That's what's unusual. Anyway, because of that, the Academy can't really turn down a direct referral with that kind of backing. So that's how it is. But even accounting for that, I never would have expected Crow to be transferred into our class, too. <laughs> yeah. I was just as shocked as you when I found out. When you found out that your friend failed his classes? I knew he was a habitual class cutter, but I always figured he at least had enough credits to graduate. Well, I feel like a failure as student council president for not noticing. Maybe even a failure as a friend. I don't think there was any helping him. Whoa there. I think you're being a little hard on yourself. What about Angelica? Does she have enough credits to graduate? Angie at least makes sure to attend the classes she needs for graduation. Apparently, Crow not only hadn't attended enough class units, he also didn't turn in some essential assignments. 
but as long as he's active and engaged with his class seven work over the next couple months, he'll be able to graduate. Ah. Uh, still, I get the distinct feeling this one-two punch of transfer students wasn't just a happy coincidence. Am I right? Well, yeah. The principal thought placing Crow in class seven might be beneficial for the rest of you too. His grades might be a sorry sight, but he really knows how to get things done when he wants to. Did you know he was responsible for all of the event planning at last year's Academy Festival? Crow did that? Voluntarily? It might be kind of awkward having a second year student in your class, but I hope you guys will all get along. That goes for Milliam too, of course. She might have an unusual background, but at the end of the day, she's still a 13 year old girl. Yeah. I get what you mean. So, she really is 13 then? Yeah, she scored really well on her entrance exam though. So, I think she can handle the curriculum fine. <laughs> she might be small, but she can roll up her sleeves with the best of them. <laughs> now, where have I heard of someone like that before? Oh, sorry. Looks like I've got a call coming in. Go ahead and answer. I don't mind. I wouldn't want you to miss anything important. Uh, all right. Excuse me, then. Hello, Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, Reen. It's your favorite instructor here. I love the heart at the end of the sentence. Are you still on the Academy grounds by any chance? Oh, stream is dying. One second. Okay, that hopefully fixed it. As much as it pains me to say it, I am. <laughs> no need to sound so suspicious. It's just that after I gave Milliam all the things I had for her, she just took off somewhere. Of course she did. You know how she tends to be kind of a mischief maker. So could you find her and drag her back to the dorms for me? <sighs> all right. I can only imagine what would happen if she were to flash that silver thing of hers around on the Academy grounds again. Yeah, I'd really rather avoid a repeat of yesterday. Of yesterday? Anyway, I leave it in your capable hands, brave leader of Class 7. What happened yesterday? W wait a second, when did I become the... <laughs> <laughs> she really does trust you. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Are you still up for helping me with a few requests tomorrow? Of course. I'll be around. Still, I know you've got a full slate and all, but try not to overwork yourself. And if there's anything else I can do to make life a little easier for you, don't hesitate to ask. Sure. And thanks. All right, I guess I'd better start looking for Millian. Where do I even start? She could be almost anywhere. I should probably ask a couple of others for help. I doubt I'll accomplish much just checking places at random. Come to think of it, I haven't gotten Crow's number yet either. I think two other classmates will be enough for this, though I should remember to ask him when I get the chance. Oh! Um... Attack member? Um, give me fee. And give me Emma. Sure. Yeah. Finalize party for me? Sure. Alright, I understand. It doesn't seem wise to leave her on her own. She probably saw so much here that's new to her that she took off exploring. Yeah, I think you're right. I doubt she's left the academy grounds yet, though, so we should be able to find her. I'll just have to think, if I were new here, what would seem the most interesting? Then check all those places. I agree. Let's go find her. Oh no. If I knew I was going to have to do this, I would have 
talked to people while doing this. Oh. Wow, so this is the Orbal bike everyone was talking about. I wanna try it. <laughs> It'll need some more fine tuning before you'll be able to do that. You do have the option of riding alongside me, however. She is a little young for you. I'm always willing to take cute little ladies like you for a ride. Really? I kind of want to have a race, though. Want to see if Lammy's faster than your bike? I don't know what this Lammy is. But it takes some guts to challenge me to a race. Now I'm really going to take a liking to you. Really starting to take a liking to you. It didn't take long for those two to hit it off. Angelica and George are really good at taking care of others. Oh, hey there. What's up? Truth is, Green explained to George that Instructor Sarah asked them to drag Millian back to the dorms. No way! There's still plenty I want to do. If that's how you're going to play it, then I'm gonna not going to let you catch me. Our race is going to have to wait. Very well. I look forward to seeing you around again. For sure. Catch you later. Wait up, Millian. Off she goes. We just let that happen, huh? You could have at least pretended to try and catch her, Angelica. I mean, none of us tried to catch her either, and she literally ran like a circle around us. Green. Sweetie. Surely you've realized that I always side with my lovely ladies. I have to say, though, she's even more peculiar than I'd heard. Yeah, I'd really like to see this Lammy she keeps talking about, too. It's adorable. You really do want to see it. Tell me that she's always welcome here for us, will you? All right. Okay, let's go search somewhere else. All right. The gymnasium. We'll hit that next. The church, for sure? Oh, no. Is she upstairs? Please do not jump into the water from here. Wow, look at all the water! That's gotta be refreshing. I kinda wanna take a dip. I finally found you. Oh, hey, Reen. Hey, do you know? If I get to take swimming lessons while I'm here? I can't think of a reason why you wouldn't. Has Instructor Sarah given you your school swimsuit yet? No, all I got today was my uniform. She told me I'd get it tomorrow. I can't wait though. I wish I could go swimming right now. Swim lessons aren't as fun as they sound. You guys think too much. You have not lived through Nightheart's insane swimming teachings. Besides, all this pool talk really makes me want to go for a swim. Oh, I know. Uh, Millia? Ta-da! I can wear this. It's totally waterproof and dries in no time. No, it's no problem if I get wet. Please think this over. She's really gonna jump from up here. On your mark, get set, go. Million, are you okay? That was way too fun. Hop on in, the water is nice and cool. Is this pool deep enough for us to not hurt ourselves jumping from this height? She just doesn't care, does she? I'm pretty sure it's not. It does not even look six feet deep. We should go get her.
Uh, where did Milliam go? She timed her escape perfectly. She was headed towards the girls' locker room, so you probably just missed her. She must have run because she didn't want us to haul her back to the dorm. Well, we should look somewhere else. What happens if I try to go through the men's locker room right now? Nothing. Where did the girls go? Okay, so the game wants me to go over to the horses. Let's go ahead and do that. Where do you sis go? I haven't done this in forever. Onward, mighty steed, full speed ahead. Get down this instant. That voice couldn't mean anything but trouble. <laughs> She's riding behind you, sis. Oh, hey, everybody. Are you still chasing me? What? in the world are you up to? And she's holding Eusis's waist. <laughs> it's been so long since we went horse riding in Nord. I thought I'd give it another shot. This is so fun. It's totally different than flying around on Lammy. But someone please escort her far, far away from the stables. Why do you have to be so stubborn, Eusis? You must get that from your dad. <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. And how would you know what my father's personality is like to begin with? Wow, Milliam even managed to throw Eusis for a loop there. What's with that girl? Who cares? I'm on the horse now. Time to ride. To the highway. Horsey, away. Get your hands off the reins at what? Let's go. She just kidnapped Eusis. Milliam, wait. So began Milliam's horseback adventures. She took off without the slightest concern for the worried souls she left behind. After riding around with the increasingly irritated Eusis. For what seemed like an eternity, she finally came to a stop. Man, poor Eusis. You little. That was the best. We should totally do it again sometime. Um, are you okay? I'm fine. What would have happened if... I had taken Eusis with me on my team. We wouldn't have had this little event. That would have been such a tragedy. Travesty, whatever. That girl doesn't have a lick of sense. <laughs> She's got energy to spare, doesn't she? Hopefully she'll slow down by the time we catch up to her. Time to start looking again. That little imp. What a colossal waste of time. If she were any wilder, she'd practically be feral. Don't be too hard on her. Poor Eusis. 